yeah so hopefully you can hear me um anyways levi apparel again um so uh what you want to do is um use a chart to help you and guide you right okay cool so hold on real quick i'm gonna pause the video all right cool so what you're looking at is a chart and on the side of the chart i have different medias that i use like the forever flex off um vinyl right um so i get my vinyls right here oh sorry right here from stall i use the forever flex off instead of the heat transfers because i don't like the feel of them right and also you have to like contour cut them and all that and i don't feel like doing it this is the one i used to use for the dark um jet pro soft stress dark don't use it anymore um i do use the reveal s um for also um uh light garments too um and then also i have um screen printed ink from ryanx screenprinting.com that i use for my uh, screen printing machine all right um next up you have the chart that i was talking about all right so in the chart right basically lists what i'm talking about t-shirts and different type of t-shirts i just took a few t-shirts and i just slap them on there it's not shirts that i'm making or anything so i'm not commercially advertising it for sale um so um next to shirt is the equipment that i use uh this right here is my gold machine um this is a large um format printer it can print um i believe seven eleven by seventeen uh, most shirts that are large are usually 11 by 17 um, and that's a ghost white toner printer right um, you can do a conversion it's worth I think a thousand dollars or something like that um, all right cool so with the ghost white toner printer what I can do with it is all it is is a film and it, on the film is specially coated um, the toner lays down the ink on it and this package right here that you see is a white toner the white toner um it does what exactly it says so the white toner goes on the back of the color image in reverse and so every color comes in backwards and then the white goes on top it then goes on the shirt and you heat press it and it comes out perfect doesn't matter what color shirt you use that's why I have varieties of shirts and then I just put check marks indicating that any shirt whether it be polyester cotton I think line lawn um, dark or light this can do it however again it's a printer you don't want to rely on one machine because when you're dealing with machines there will be hiccups right so in case I have any issues um, I used to go to um, heat transfers but this one would be um, so if you look right here this is the reveal s right the reveal s you can use your sublimation printer right so what I'll do is um, for heat transfers I'll use my reveal s sublimation printer and that one allows me to print only on white color garments um, some light color garments and I have a variety of garments together I can do right so both this one and that one can do multiple varieties of colors of garments all you do is you print the film and then you slap it on each shirt you heat press it and you're good to go on both of them right so this one's for light this one's for dark garments um, next up is uh, we call it um, vinyls so heat transfer vinyls right um another word for it is htv so the way i use the heat transfer vinyl for shirts is this so if the shirt like for example i'm gonna zoom in <laughs> um so for example if the shirt is like like this is like almost three colors right here so no problem if it's one shirt i can do it um I have a silhouette cutter, vinyl cutter that can cut up to, I believe, 11 and a half by 11 and a half, which is still good. Well, actually, 11 and a half by 24 inches, 23 and a half inches long, 
11 and a half inches wide to 23 and a half inches long so I have a um, yeah I have more than enough space to to print on a shirt and like I said a lot of people don't usually go beyond 11 wide if they do it's because they really need it and with that you can upcharge it All right so with that you're going to need um, obviously in each one of these you're going to need a heat transfer um, I mean um, heat press machine heat press machine heat press machine even this one needs heat press machine um, this one this is a uh, we call that um, flash dryer All right and I'm gonna get to that one soon um, so with the vinyl I can do like I can layer two or three or even four sometimes but you want to keep the limit of the amount of shirt that you do to a low amount because remember when you're doing heat transfer vinyls or vinyls in general um, even if it's for stickers you have to remove the excess waste of each vinyls um, and that's going to take time especially if you have um, multiple shirts to do it's going to take a lot of time so with these you want to limit the amount of shirts that you can do to like maybe 10 or five shirts you know per customer I guess if possible all right okay um, so next up is sublimation now sublimation um, uh, you know what as I'm doing this let me just show you the machine that I use that way it makes sense all right cool so this is my um, sublimation printer right I have one here and then I have the big bad boy right here, the Epson 7710. And um, both of these are used for sublimation. This one can print 11 by, no, sorry, 8 by 11, right? So I leave those for like my mugs and stuff. Um, this Epson one can print uh, 13 by 19, so I leave those for like big shirts, you know. But even this Epson and this Rico um, they can they both can only print on right let's get to it light garments in polyester right so um, I say light garments because I have the reveal s so the reveal s allows me print on cotton um, or polyester or whatever Right, so but I can only print on light color garments with those, so I'm pretty much limited towards what I can do with it. Right, um, let me go backwards a little bit, and then that way you can see what I'm working with. Okay, so here again, I have the um, ghost white toner, the ghost white toner is right here. I have the small one, and this one is the M4. So M254 DW. DW just stands for um, wireless, right? Uh, that's the test print I did. Um, all right, cool. So that's that one. Um, next is the heat transfer. I, this printer I have is giving me issues right now. And if I print, it has bending on it, like me. It has lines. So I'm going to replace this soon. Um, probably going to get the same one because I was on who messed it up I put some weird ink in there and ever since then it's been messed up um, so I'm gonna get another one uh, so that one I usually do I used to do heat transfers on it but I use this now for um, the next one coming up which is um, screen printing so what I do is um, I have films clear films that it's for uh, screen printing and they clear uh, flame films the clear films basically a uh, large sheet of plastic um, size sheet and it has special coating on it so the ink can just lay on top of it that's all and uh, what I would do is I would um, use it to create um, stencils like this um, like this and then I'll just lay it on. So, sorry, but with a mess. So, as you see, there's a shirt right here. All you would do is just um, 
put the screen down and then just uh, use the squeegee to just squeegee the ink on it right um, so ink will be laid down and then after that it'll go on the shirt all right um, so that's screen printing um, but when it comes to screen printing I have my do's and don'ts obviously I have lots of machines so my do's and don'ts for screen printing is this let's go to the don't first um, so usually with screen printing you need to use um, plastisol ink if you're gonna do polyester right you need to use plastisol ink if you're gonna do um, different types of colors that's dark colors pretty much uh, so uh, you can use um, water-based ink too um, but whenever it's 100% polyester water base is not gonna it's not gonna work out so that's why I have my do's and don'ts um, my do's is so right here we have every almost every box is checked off right and oh, I should even I should check this one but I, there's a reason why I didn't check it off because I want to give it a break um, so when it comes to like two three colors put together for like one or two shirts definitely these can handle the, the load even this one um, however I like to leave anytime I'm doing more than 20 shirts for screen printings because um, screen printing was created for large volumes right uh, when it comes to uh, scroll down um, multiple shirts maybe like two three colors um if it's like each shirt is like 10 then i'll definitely try to do screen printing on it if it's like one or two colors per shirt because i have like i think i have a four color four color four station screen so one two three four and then one station so i can load some shirts in there all right um to the size my heat press and my mug press also right there all right and this is just my lemonade my laminator got it off of Amazon I'm not gonna use it much um, but yeah so again uh, this is Levi apparel please like and subscribe and that's how I delegate my work for uh, when I'm doing shirts and um, to decide which one is the best possible solution all right cool thank you again please like and subscribe Oh, I didn't show you my vinyl um, cutting machines. All right, uh, so this is one of them right here. All right, um, this is my Cameo that I have. Um, this one is the one I mentioned that can do um, 11 and a half by 17. I it's a pull draw. I like that feature about it. Um, oh, the pull draw is is the actual draw itself that can pull out. It's not the machine that comes like that. Um, then I have my uh, I have a backup, and the reason why I have a backup is because the Cricut, right? So the Cricut Air Two, um, it's got a feature that's really good, and the feature is so I only do vinyls with my Cricut Air Two. But the feature that I like about the Cricut Air 2 is um, if you have literally a vinyl that's one inch by one inch, you can put it in the Cricut Air 2 and the Cricut Air 2 will definitely cut it because it's got precise spacing and on the grid that it comes with, the grid is so micro, um, has like a lot of micro grids in it that you can't misplace the location of any um, uh, any vinyl and what that allows you is press precision and with that precision you don't need to throw away your vinyl anymore you can put it aside and whenever you have like a small pocket size um, lettering you can use your Cricut now to um, cut it so this right here is my last um, machine uh, it can cut I believe let's see it can cut uh, let's take a look 
28 inches wide I like to leave it up to 27 just in case all right um, and I think it's 27 inches by 100 and something inches all right this is an Amazon package I just got for a special project you'll see it soon um, I have here the different vinyls for that printer I mean for that uh, for the um, cutting machine it's my um, what was it called again? It's the MH71 MK2. Alright, cool. So, over here, I have a whole lot of stuff for it that's soon to be used, hopefully. Um, Alright, I have masking tape right here. I have black vinyl. This one, it didn't really fit the machine because it's too wide. It's 30 by. Um, I think it's 30 by 100 or something like that but I can cut pieces of it off and easily use it for um, stickers uh, this is uh, car decals um, basically and you just cut it off cut it up with the um, mk2 and you can just put in cars so the reason why I got this big one is because now I can uh, uh, do large format cutting also on the side, I have my vinyls um, for these guys right here. So they're just the right size for it. All right. Okay, cool. Thank you. I was trying to make this video quick, but hey, sometimes you gotta go large. All right. Um, so this is basically my section right here. Um, and uh, that's basically it so if you ever need to delegate your work and you don't know how to do it because you have way too many machines because you watch too much YouTube like me um, then that's how you should think about doing your, your setup all right have one of these right here a chart that tells you which machine is best for whatever work you prefer this is Levi Perel please like subscribe and stay tuned for more